I'm back with Aries moon with um, Capricorn moon. And here we go. Okay. Because this is a square energy between the two. And I don't, I don't really like seeing squares, op oppositions, um, and stuff like that. Semi-square is a little bit better, but mm, um, with within the moons, within the moons, because it gets personal, you know, this is where, you know, we got intimacy going on and just people needing it or it helps compatibility when we have individuals that can be on the same page emotionally or at least, at least understand each other emotionally because this is where relationships, um, it makes or breaks relationships, okay? It shows where you can be in close quarters with another person, um, you know, in order to make a relationship happen, a relationship work. And what we have here is we have one person's, um emotional um reactive emotional state um someone who acts on their emotions should i say someone who um could be a little bit dramatic or wants some sort of immediate appeasing that possibly enjoys arguments or debates you know um to liven up their their relationship with their lover um or whatever, we have that meeting someone to where they're more serious about emotions and they're more restrictive when it comes to putting out certain energy. And um, I'm not going to sit here and give Capricorn Moons all this description, like they're very mature and stuff like that because some of them can act very immature. They can act very immature, um, depending on their, um, how they grew up. Okay. And some of them could be very dependent on their lover. And this is where we get Aries being a little bit more independent, feeling the, you know, like, you know, emotion, like they're being restricted emotionally and within the relationship with being and dealing with Capricorn. So for the most part, because they're square, you know, for the most part, it's not that these two hate each other because they see something in the other one that actually, if they were with, it can actually benefit them tremendously because Capricorn moon is able to provide an emotional structure for the relationship to exist. Even when Aries moon is falling apart, you know, um, being back and forth, emotionally reactive and stuff like that, Capricorn moon could be someone that's unfazed by what Aries Moon is doing. Aries Moon can actually, in return, find a very stable partner in Capricorn Moon. Like, okay, well then, whenever I act up or whatever I do when I come back, Capricorn Moon is going to be here. This could really irritate Cap Capricorn Moon. But at the same time, Aries Moon has a point because once Capricorn Moon has established some sort of stability or consistency, it's not very likely that it's going to want to change what that looks like. And this is where they can benefit each other. But the part that comes into question for me is, are these two remaining in an emotional relationship because they really are open and available for each other? Or are they here out of dependency or codependency or just out of sheer not being able to leave each other alone or just what the other person has to offer the stability that one has to offer the comfort in it and this that nature this is where it can you can see these two come together and they can stay together for a very long time but at the same time they will have instances where you will see aries moon kind of doing their own thing and capricorn moon being in their own space doing their own thing because emotionally they don't really speak the same language they have things that benefit the other person that you would want to have it's like why wouldn't aries moon want to have some sort of stable partner there you, you get what I'm saying? That they can fall back on. Why wouldn't Capricorn Moon want to have somebody that um is 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 able to wouldn't want to have somebody that's able to kind of brush over what you know Capricorn Moon's um shortcomings and what they did yesterday and then could kind of be like okay well fine let's keep going 
but so they have this but emotionally they don't flow together so here you get misunderstandings emotional misunderstandings you know and maybe possibly not getting each other's needs met and spending more time you know mm, hitting and missing altercations happening and things of that nature and just but at the same time not speaking each other's um um, fulfilling each other emotionally. You get what I'm saying? But when, yes, when things are said and done, they, they create this, um, this sort of emotional stability. But I just, what you, the question needs to be asked, like, does this relationship comes out of, um, a need to just have a relationship and this is comfortable or is it something that is been emotionally beneficial and uh, enjoyable um, for both. Okay. And I'm not saying that you cannot reach that, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to do. Um, this has been Aries moon and Capricorn moon compatibility.